College is a time where we experience love, or at least hope to. Hello, I'm Katie, and as I start my senior year at Cornell University, I think about the kinds of love I've experienced and have yet to. In friendships, romance, God, love is so open, and its subject can vary beyond just people to nature, art, sports, culture. This year, I've rediscovered love in my life as a student, and I hope that through this video, you can find the same experience. So, inspired by New York Times 36 questions that lead to love, here are my 36 college activities that lead to love. Bike your city. This is such a fun and active way to explore the place you'll call home for the next four years. Watch the sunset. There's something magical about golden hour. Ice cream tour. Freshman 15 is a real thing, but it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Gather up your friends and treat yourself to some sweets and midnight ice cream. Last week, my friends and I decided to do an ice cream trip where we hit up three ice cream spots and tried 20 flavors total. My favorites were fudge wudge, lavender basil, and candy coconut. Then at Glen Dairy Bar, it was cotton candy and southern peach. Dinner date! Whether it's with a special someone or a group of close friends, grabbing a meal is an easy way to get to know people, especially because everyone has to eat anyway, so you might as well do it with someone. Don't be afraid to make the first move. Experience four seasons. As a tropical who grew up with summer all year round, I was in awe when I first experienced fall, winter, and spring. I can safely say that with every year, my fascination for these seasons has only grown and I fall more in love with every change of the season. Beach Volleyball. This summer, I reconnected with some old friends and made amazing new ones through volleyball. I kid you not, we played nearly every day for a week when we started and we got so close that we'd hang out on weekends too. In general, playing sports is a great way to meet people and spend a lot of time with them. Go on an adventure. On the 4th of July weekend, my friends and I took a spontaneous trip to the Grand Canyon of the East. We left at 8 a.m. to go whitewater rafting, but after that, we had no plans and just explored waterfalls, hiking trails, and did a little rock skipping contest, which I came runner up for. <laughs> when you get the chance, pick a place you've always wanted to go and make an adventure out of it. Camp in the woods. Take a break from campus life and completely immerse yourself in nature. I recently tried this for the first time and it was a breath of fresh air. I mean, I didn't sleep very well and I was freezing before sunrise, but it was an unforgettable experience and I learned a lot that I'm excited to take on for future camping trips. Kayak or canoe? There are so many lake activities around Cornell because we're in the Finger Lakes region, but wherever your campus is, just find what activities are popular and try them. Swim in lakes. Jump in to cool off from the heat and in the winter, dive in for a polar plunge. Or maybe not that last one because I would personally freeze, but I do know friends who have and other colleges like Dartmouth apparently do it for fundraising. Hike. I have always loved walking, so doing this in nature to reach some beautiful view or destination is all the more rewarding. Sports games. Get your cheer on and release your school spirit by supporting your sports teams. Karaoke night. Whether it's carpool karaoke or at an actual karaoke bar, there's nothing quite like screaming your favorite songs with your friends. And if you have friends who are actual musicians, jam with them. Make music. I find it so cool to watch friends lose themselves in their art and also just learn about their creative processes. As a creator myself, I get huge bursts of inspiration from just watching my friends do their thing and kill it. Dance in the rain. This was one of the wildest and quite frankly first <laughs> vlog parties I had been to. And it was extra fun because it started to rain and it kind of turned into a mudslide. Also, I find it's way more fun if you know the people throwing the party. Speaking of college parties. These will come in many shapes and sizes, from frat parties to outdoor darties and even winter snarties. 
I will say I've seen a lot of first years get really crazy so I just want to give a friendly reminder to please stay safe and go with people who look out for you. Also, don't feel pressured to party if this social scene isn't for you. I assure you there are so many other ways to meet people through classes, clubs, and events and you'll find what's right for you. Attend a live concert. Whether it's an acapella group, your favorite band, or an EDM festival, lose yourself in the music and dance your heart out. Do your school's tradition. At Cornell, I have two favorite ones. Slope Day, where we invite a big name for a school-wide concert. My first year, we had Steve Aoki. And second, sledding down Live Slope on a snow day. It's funny because you see sleds range from cardboard boxes to actual skis to air mattresses. Snow days. Celebrate first snow by whipping out your skis, making snow angels, or having a snowball fight. College brings together people from all over the country and the world, many of whom might never have experienced snow, aka me. So experience it with them through their eyes. Watch as their eyes glow. I know mine did. Build a castle. Whether it's made of snow or sand, this is a fun team building activity that tests who the true engineers are. I'm just kidding but you can turn it into a friendly competition. Star gazing. This is my absolute favorite thing because I grew up in a city where there was so much light pollution, I could not see any stars. Here though at Cornell, I've been able to see a sky full of hundreds and it has taken my breath away. Road trip. Having a car or a friend who does is a game changer, especially if you go to school in a suburban or rural area like Cornell. I used to think Ithaca had nothing, but after a few day trips, I realized how rich this area was with nature, activities, history, food. I'm making it a mission this coming year to show my friends just how much beauty there is around here before we all graduate. Vlog. As you have all these amazing experiences, capture them. I started vlogging my college experiences so I can remember what people have told me is the best years of my life, and along with it, the candid reflections I have to see how much I've grown. Also, I'll link my camera equipment and YouTube one on video series below if you're interested, but you can also just keep it simple with your phone. And if you're not a fan of videos, take photos with your friends, of your friends. Take them whenever you have a moment you want to remember. I promise these reminders you will cherish. Visit your friends at other college campuses. It is so fun to crash your friends' colleges and see what their experience is like at other universities. You realize what makes your own school unique and finally understand what your high school counselors meant when they talked about each college's culture and your fit. Rock climbing. Guys, I got really into rock climbing this year because it was a new and challenging way to exercise indoors in the winter. It was COVID friendly too because we were masked and we could space apart. My best friend and I would go thrice a week and we loved inviting a ton of our friends to try it too. Food. You didn't think I'd forget this one, did you? Treat yourself and eat out. And if you prefer baking yourself, you can also have a baking cook-off. Or if you like cooking, host a potluck. Encourage your friends to bring their favorite or a cultural dish from home. Potlucks, I'd say, are more popular when you're an upperclassman because people actually have kitchens and can host events at their place, but hey, it's never too early if you find a way. Wine tours. This is something I have yet to experience and is so unique at Cornell because we're located in the Finger Lakes region with lots of wineries. Start a club. One of my best nights in college was the launch party for Cornell Creatives, an organization I co-founded. I invited my musician friends to perform and it was such a lit night. Creating your own club is such a great way to bring together people who share the same hobbies as you and motivate each other. Self-care. I cannot stress this enough, but college can get crazy, especially if you go to a pretty intense one. <laughs> it's important to take care of yourself and also those around you. So whether it's a stay-in kind of night or a Sabbath, don't forget to pause, breathe, and find gratitude in what's in front of you. Go to church, or at least try it. This has by far been one of the most transformative experiences of college. Growing up, I did not go to church, but when I came to college, I was introduced to such a warm Christian community that made me instantly feel welcome, even as an international student who was just living in the States alone for the first time. Every Sunday became a space to relax, reflect, and find peace in the big questions of my life. Bible study. Before college, I also never read the Bible, 
but I had always been curious about it. And my first week in college, I found several Bible study groups that welcomed beginner noobs like me to learn it, understand it, and satiate my curiosity. I had never expected to grow so much in faith and spirituality in college, but it is the number one thing that has made me feel so loved and grounded in all my four years. Answer the New York Times 36 questions that lead to love with your friends. You can do this many different ways like going around in a circle and answering a question or just putting one of your friends in a hot seat and just drilling them on a lot of questions in one row. Alternatively, I love the card game We're Not Really Strangers and have learned a lot about my friends through that. Finally, ask a friend about something they love and do that with them. Celebrate their talents. It's so special to get to explore new hobbies through the lens of a friend who loves it. I've gone to friends' art exhibits, chimes concerts, music recitals, and aquaponics labs. A lot of these are spaces that I normally would not be involved with, but in college you really meet so many people from a diverse set of interests and it is really such a shame if you don't get to see these different sides of college because you're never gonna be in another community so vibrant with all these academic or extracurricular interests. Just ask your friend what they love, and I bet they'd love to share their joy with you too. So now, my challenge for you, think of someone or a group of friends that you want to get to know better. Maybe you think they're cool, or every time you're around them, you have a really great time. Choose one of these things from this list of 36 activities and do it with them. Then repeat 36 times. You can make your own too. And once you do it, don't forget to let me know. You can message me on Instagram at alohakdx and share what your experience is like because I would really love to hear your stories and maybe if you have other activities in college that I didn't talk about but have led to love for you. I, I really am so down to try because this is my senior year and I am all ears. Don't forget to share this video with your friends because I really think they deserve to know how much you can do in college and I know it can be really challenging sometimes to just tunnel vision into academics or job hunting or busying yourself and I, I've been there but this year I found so much more joy in doing all these activities and I can safely say that if I were to graduate now in three years, college was definitely the best time of my life because I got to do these things and experience love in all these ways. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna upload more vlogs coming soon, especially because my last year is gonna start in August and I definitely wanna capture all these very special memories. I hope you all are taking care and I love you. See you next week with another new video. Bye guys.